Welcome back to Camo Adventures. Out here again on another little exploration trip. Mountain bikes. Say hi. Hi. And this one's going to be a little bit different. <clears throat> Very pretty area here. Hopefully the video is still coming out good with the gimbal. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Still trying to make the videos more personable and get used to this looking at the camera thing. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'll get there. But this one. This is a publicly accessible area. I guess they're all publicly accessible, but this is a, a hike-in or bike-in place that anybody can go to. And this is actually Hobart Reservoir. This one's different because we're going to tell you where it's at. Have a little bit of fun, you know. If you come up here and you know where it's at, whatever, you know, always, as usual, please be respectful of the area. You can't drive here. I mean, you can if you have the key to the gate, you know, if you're a ranger or a forestry service person, but... So this is a little bit different since you can't drive there. It's a hike or bike, so. Figured we'd tell you guys about it because it's, it's a cool spot. You know, it's not an abandoned place or a, a necessarily secret place, but I know a lot of people want to know where these places are. We try to, I don't know, lessen the chance of stuff getting hurt or destroyed or whatever, just because you never know. It's anybody in the world can watch the videos. This is a cool spot. There's a like I don't know, boar campsites or something. <clears throat> There's no no fires allowed up here right now, and this trail goes all the way through the mountains to some nether spots. You can fish up here. We're actually, this is actually the second time. Actually, the second time we've done this video up here. I don't know, maybe a month ago, and. Uh, I decided to come back up here. There's so much stuff in the area, and I wanted to make it more personable. I'm trying to get better at this stuff. I wish the gimbal had like a, a turnaround feature. I've seen some that automatically will flip around 180 degrees for this kind of stuff. So, get over my, my uh, I don't know, social anxiety, whatever you would call that. Already today, we've seen some forestry trucks up here. I don't know what they're doing. I, they were doing, actually they said they were doing research papers. I don't know, maybe they were like intern forestry people trying to get into the game. Mountain biker was up here, passed some Jeeps on the trail. And let's see, I'm gonna try to get some underwater footage too, just to see what it, what it comes out as or what it comes out like, because it's some pretty clear water. Kind of see a rock in the water there. But it doesn't take you over and Show the dam here, this dam, I forgot, I just read it. I think it was built, I think the dam was built in, uh, was it 1965 or 55? It's 50s or 60s. And this dam is actually, I think I read it. There's another dam down the stream, or another, another dam down the, the creek here. That one's broken. I think this one's broken too. So I guess the last version was built in the 50s. The early ones, I think it busted in 1911, they said. I don't know. It's kind of hard to remember everything when you're winded from riding your mountain bike uphill. I'm out of shape. Very, very pretty place. Last time we were here, there's a guy, when we were coming in, he was walking out. Yeah, that was like, like four like rainbow trout might have been five i think it was four that was pretty cool oh the gimbal still likes to act weird and the water goes some of it comes out here i think there's some more to the side i don't remember but cool spot you come up for the day do some fishing hiking biking camping that's the mistake we made. We didn't bring any a little picnic lunch or anything. This area's got some history. This was part some of the the uh, when they were getting water back in the 1800s. There, there was the some dams down the stream here, and I'm assuming this was part of it. Where they were using the water for other cities or towns around here for the mining efforts and whatnot. Okay, so 
really. Oh, you know, there's actually some other stuff over here I'll show you guys too, but I'm gonna pause it here and see about getting some underwater footage, just see what it's like. Might be cool. Maybe it's similar to like clear water like Tahoe or some other place that has crystal clear water, Crater Lake or whatever. It's actually um, a, uh, a depth gauge over here. It's not really a depth gauge, but it's on the rock. Kind of a depth gauge. Uh, let's see, turn right there. I don't know the different, I don't know any, any where it should be or where it has been. So, okay, let's see about some underwater here. All right, hopefully you guys like the underwater footage. Nothing amazing. I haven't looked at it yet, so I have no idea. But, and, and right before I was about to put the camera in the water, it's probably like an eight to 10 inch, I'm guessing a trout swam by. Didn't get it on camera, unfortunately. They got the little stream coming out of here, besides the one at the dam. Very, very pretty. Little bridge across here. So yeah, I guess they got the bathroom up here. So they have to come up and service that at times, I'm obviously. And then they got some campsites here, kind of small, but tent camping or cot or something. As you can see, you can have a fire at some point, but they have them all, they used to have a uh, different color trash bags at one time that were kind of obvious. They just got black ones over here right now. Got the bear box, table, and they're kind of close, but that's, that's a cool little area. And I believe fishing's only, it's like May to October or something like that. So yeah, that's it. This is Hobart Reservoir. Let us know if you've been up here or you do come up here and hopefully you have a good time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.